Hey, what is up guys? NeverKLP here with Banjo Kazooie. Let's play part 2e, 3e, 4e, and 5e. We're playing Batman Arkham Origins, Oranges, Asylums, Limes, Lemons, Melons, Cantaloupes, Antelopes, Reindeers. Where is my glass of beer? Yes, yeah, so we're playing Banjo Kazooie. This is part 26 Sui, I think it is. And now we're starting the infamous gonna kill you rusty bucket bay rusty trombone bay this level everything's out to kill you even Kazooie Kazooie will strangle you under the water and if you stand still for too long she'll peck you to death and eat your brain um, oh yeah we've got to raise the water level again first <coughs> excuse me um, wait, I think there's a switch down here if not, then I can't remember where it is. Pardon me. Oh yeah, it's in the rareware box. Good old rareware. Um, if it wants to break. Uh. Okay, so is this, is this one timed or is it another one that's timed? Yeah, it's another one that's timed. Then if you could see there, um, I don't know if you want to rewind back, but at the top right there at the screen, there was another little pathway, and there is a place where we can raise Daruf again but I think you have like 30 seconds or something and then you can get a Cheeto page and um, a Gigasaurus, oh no not a Gigasaurus Rex I think it's just just a uh, Cheeto chip uh, can't remember what's down near though a Mumbo token? because this is the way to, oh okay it's nothing what, what is the point Oh right, so it fills up the water on the other side. I got ya. I think. I don't know. Kind of pointless. Yeah, it's completely pointless. Good old beehive bedlam man standing there. Right, here we go. Here is the rusty bucket bay jigsaw piece uh, puzzle thing. Now, when I was a kid, looking at a board as empty as that used to, I just panicked. I wasn't looking forward to seeing what uh, jigsaw puzzle thing was next. See how many missing jigsaw pieces there were because when I was a kid, I've said a few times I didn't play the game to like complete them, complete them 100%. I just played the, a level until I thought, yeah, I've got enough here. Let's move on. And then I moved on. But and then that screwed me over later on because I didn't have enough notes, didn't have enough jiggies, didn't have enough mumbo tokens. Uh, so it's always best to do your best right off 10 bats. So I think the best way to go around this is like uh, to do this level as efficiently as possible is to just do it in order like I've said before. <clears throat> so we'll go around the perimeter of the level first and there's a Jinjo down here and I forgot about the TNT boxes and speaking of TNT boxes this level is the only level with a mini boss. Oh yeah the oily water so in e everything in this level is out to kill you the water if you're diving underneath uh, you lose uh, oxygen twice as fast not sure how that really works um, and if you're above water as well you lose oxygen I can't see how that's logic? I don't know um, so yeah there's the water that tries to kill you even when you're above water uh, there's everything on the boat, everything is an enemy, you step on a plank of wood, you step on a sheet of metal, you're dead. Well, no you're not really. Oh and there's these toll booths things, I forgot about these. I think you can increase it again by adding four, or is it two? No it's not, yeah it's four. So I think some of them you can like, like move the platforms even th further, and more camera glitching, what the hell, come on, What? what is going on with this game? I swear on my left toenail's life that I've never had camera angles problems before with Banjo Kazooie. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, the top. Oh crap! The shark. The goddamn shark. You'll excuse me if I skip this bit and go into here first because I think there's a jiggy source riggy. Okay, maybe not then. But I'm pretty sure there is something in. Here. Oh wait, nope. There it is. A Gigasaurus. 
Yep, do your little dance, Banjo. I'm surprised. He must be a brilliant dancer if he can remember the same move to the exact tone every time. Kazooie must be getting full, or her stomach must be hurting. Oh yes, here's, here's a thing. Notice how we're now on four lives. If you're watching this in order, like in a marathon, or you've just recently watched the last one, and you can remember that we ended the part off with nine lives, I think it was. Um, not sure why that when I've loaded this up again, that we've lost a bunch of lives and it's reset our lives to stock lives. No idea why that has happened. I haven't played uh, pre-recorded like the game and like done completely crap and lost so many lives. It doesn't make any sense. I, I don't think that's happened before because I can't see how I got so many lives in one playthrough. Unless I did. I'm not sure. I can't remember if it's always been resetting lives at the end of every time I load up the game. But under the scum you'll breathe your last. Comma. Because air is used twice as fast. Okay, here's the... Um, see, I don't get how the shark survives in the oily water, but we can't even survive above water. Maybe it's mutated. Maybe it's evolved to the oiliness of the wateriness. Let's ask Grunty in the minigame quiz thing. And he's just trapped in that cage, even though there's a hole there. Okay, so we're about a third of the way through the outside perimeter of the level, and then we'll go, once we've done everything on the outside, round the outside, round the outside, we'll uh, go to the ship. The ship. Oh, more notes. Oh, wow, I didn't realize we didn't have that many. Many? Many. A. Eh? Although we have, to be fair, just kind of started. I mean, the, the the map itself isn't even that big. It's just long. Like there is no one place where there's a bunch of notes. They're pretty much scattered throughout that entire level, as opposed to um, uh, some of the levels where you usually find a bunch in one spot. Like in Mad Monster Mansion, there was a ton on that roof. Uh, oh, yeah. two more. Was that two more gingers? I didn't see. Yeah, so that's acid. Um, I think you could tell by it's green, or maybe it's Grunty's vomit. Could be, or maybe it's her diarrhea. Gross. Could be her diarrhea. I mean, it burns, and Banjo kind of like heaves when he went into it. Where does this take? Oh yeah, this takes. Oh, wow, more camera glitches. What the hell? Sort your shit out. <sighs> But we'll go on top of the crane first, because, like I said, we're doing this in order, kind of, not really. Yep, oh, okay, just shove your face, I think that would kill you. Or you just have severe head trauma. Ah, oh, yes, the button. And this, um, if I press the right button, this opens that cage, and I think we've got time, is it 30 seconds? 16, great, okay, so this is annoying, well, it's not really annoying, but as soon as you, I think it's like when you get to one second, the cage just shuts, I don't think it even waits for zero seconds, we'll see, we're gonna, if we make it, oh, okay, it doesn't just shut, yeah, so if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you don't make it, it shuts as quick, it goes quickly as that, yeah, so you, it goes into a cutscene, whereas, if it didn't put you in the cutscene, you still have a little bit of le uh, time left to grab the other, you know, try and grab the jiggy. But it doesn't matter, we got it first try because we're pro. MLG, snow scopes, 360s, swagger, YOLO, YOLO swag. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave these TNT guys because they're pointless. To kill them effectively, you just shoot your eggs at them, but by usually by the time that they've you've shot enough eggs into them they blow up near you anyway um, it's because they're like Voltorbs I didn't realize they self-destructed uh, more brilliant camera work and again right I'm giving this game 9.9 .9 out of 10 now for, for all the camera glitches is this the boss room no it's not the boss oh man unless you count the boss as the beehive dude I do if we attack him there's bees will uh, rip us to shreds. Talking about bees, in the Click Clock Wood summer level, the beehives aren't even there, there's just freaking swarms of bees 
around the map and they'll just follow you anyway. Uh, one of these slug. Okay, you just managed to fall through that box. And we just pro parkour through that guy. We're uh, mirrors edging it now. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, was that Mumbo? No, it was an egg. Yeah, might as well get some eggs though. Because since we're going to need them for the toll booth. Is it the boss in here or is it in the middle one? No. Oh wait, no. I think the boss is in the goddamn ship. You break a, you break like a door on the sh or a door. You break like a shutter on a ship, and you fall down, and there's the TNT boss. I think that's it. Yeah, that must be it. Cause yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't see why this was the only level with a mini boss. Maybe it's just an added fuck you to screw you over since everything's trying to kill you anyway so they th thought why don't we just make an, a, a random boss to uh, make it even more difficult make it more harder ruh, ruh, ruh. even though it's not that hard to begin with now looking back at it, it isn't hard it's just a no it's just hard if you're playing it on the N64 original version because um, there's a ginger around here somewhere uh, because like I've said before, if you run out of lives, you have a game over in a level, you've lost all your progress for that level. So if you had a bunch of jiggies, you had a bunch of notes, if you had a bunch of mumbo tokens in that level, you lose them all and you have to redo it all over again. Um, and that was just taxing and like relaxing, beep, boom, screw, taxing. Um, but now it doesn't, everything saves if you have a game over. I'm pretty sure I don't think I've had a game over once. Uh, playing uh, the game on the 360 as many times as I've, as I've played it. But oh, nice. There he is. Now we just need the orange one. Is he in the ship? Can't remember. I guess he would be. It would make sense for at least one ginger to be in the ship. But those. this is that area done. Now we've just only got. A, we've only got a little. Oh, we can't even get through. Oh, wait, there's a ginjo. Okay, cool. So there's another jiggy right there. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have to get to him by going off the ship and there's also a dolphin there's a dolphin under the water uh, if he's not around here he must be on the other side there's the Jinjo yeah the dolphins on the other side I think this is the propeller yeah there we go the propellers that we have to slow down and get the jiggy inside round the jiggy side there it is I don't know what where uh, uh, so there's a lot of graphical glitches happening there. I don't know if you guys saw that in the distance, but uh, yeah, as soon as you're in the water, you just want to try and get out as quickly as possible. So doing this annoying flappy paddle gearbox thing, there was the dolphin. If you didn't see it at the bottom right, uh, doing the flappy paddle gearbox dance gets you out of the water as quickly as possible. Um, we might as well just go rescue him now since we're here. Plus, I think there's a jiggy, or he he gives you a jiggy. Oh wait, yeah, we can't get to him yet. We've got to follow the anchor. I'm trapped. Help. Get this thing off Snorkel. Oh man, what an inventive name. I'm surprised it's not got an E at the end, like a Snorkly or Snorkels. No scope. Ah, uh, this is the music from that leveling clanker's cavern. Dinky dinky dinky. Ah, oh, here we go. Here is the thing and then we just bust this down and get the jiggy from the dolphin but get the notes first obviously otherwise we'll end up forgetting some and then I'll be like oh where the hell are these where the blimmin' egg it's a uh, very nice that there's just a big button that has a picture of an anchor so you know what it is thanks guys I found this earlier it's yours uh, thank you we will repay the favor but we can't because you run off and by run I mean swim, and by swim I mean fly, and by fly I mean teleport. Because you're nowhere to be seen on the map now, and there is nowhere to go. Unless he go <gasps> oh shit, no he got eaten by the shark! Fuck, super special awesome plot twist. Because there is nowhere for him to go. The back of the map is closed off by a massive gate, and the only other place he could have gone was through that hole into the boxed off area where the shark is. So the shark ate snorkel. What the fu-